Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if I sound a little bit sick, it is because I've caught a terrible cold that I am trying to get over. Today I wanted to do kind of a sit down one-on-one -on -one chit chatty video, kind of like I've done in the past with my um, let's talk about my weight video and my how to be okay video. It's not lit, it's not crazy fancy background, it's just me talking to you guys. Today I wanted to tackle a topic that is very near and dear to my heart and that is cyberbullying. It's something that over half of all adolescents experience in their lifetime. Today I've teamed up with my friends at TELUS to help drive awareness to cyberbullying. My hope is that through this, I will help to empower some of you guys and together we can rise above and combat online negativity. So I guess what I wanted to do today was take some time to talk to you guys about cyberbullying um, and how I've dealt with it in the past. Of course, being a YouTuber, um, you know, putting my life on the internet I mean, that goes hand in hand with cyberbullying. I have talked about it with you guys in the past, like once again referencing my let's talk about my weight video. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link that up in the corner. Basically where I talk about a lot of people calling me out for gaining weight over the past year. You know, being a YouTuber, you know, it's not just mean comments. There are sites out there that basically their whole premise is to be online bullies to YouTubers and gurus and it's it's very very sad to see very very sad overall at the end of the day I just have to ignore it because those people are taking the time out of their day out of their precious day I have a hard time understanding that that someone thinks that I'm that important I know in my head 99.999% of the time honestly I could almost say 100% actually with the things that I've experienced if they saw me in person would never have the guts to say any of that stuff. And I kind of just tell myself like, they're only saying that because they're hiding behind a computer screen and if they were standing in front of me right now, they, you know, they wouldn't be saying this stuff. But I do know that with cyberbullying, you know, a lot of you guys may not have channels and that may not be how you experience cyberbullying. So I wanted to kind of just like rewind and take you guys back into my life and letting you guys know like some of the things that I've been through. I'm hoping that by opening up to you guys that it will let you guys know that you aren't alone in cyberbullying. And like I said, like so many people experience this and there are ways to get through it. The stories that I'm gonna tell um, take place on you know, social media sites. One is via Tumblr, which is a blogging site, if you guys don't know. I've had Tumblr for years now i've had it like way before i even started youtube like i've had it for so long um and the other one takes place on like twitter and instagram the tumblr incident basically took place because a certain individual didn't like the way that i was living my life they didn't like the choices i had made um maybe the people in my life lots of things they were just a very sad sad person because they were so invested in my life and they didn't like the things that i was doing so they needed to make it known and what's sad about the whole thing is in my head i was like oh my gosh this person has been following my life they have literally taking the time out of their day to just like stay up to date with what I'm doing. How Tumblr works is you can have a Tumblr ask box. People can leave comments and at the time I had mine so that you needed to have a Tumblr account. You weren't able to just do it anonymously. They ended up making a fake Tumblr account and using that to leave messages in my ask box basically putting down a lot of my life choices, you know, the person I was dating. Um, and they also took from that, they went to my YouTube and started commenting on my YouTube channel. And I felt like this person was like invading my life. And I was almost like scared for my safety because it was scary to me that someone had invested this much time and energy into hating me. That was one incident that I had. Another one was, I have two Instagrams. I have a YouTube one and I have a personal one that I just kind of post pictures of my dog. Um, and this girl, she would lurk my Instagram and she would say if I posted a photo of my kitchen. She would look at that photo and then she would go on Twitter and she would tweet about it. She would tweet something making fun of that picture. And at one point I had seen her do it eight times in a row about different things that I had posted. But it got to the point where I had acquaintances who would tell me, you know, so-and-so is, is tweeting about you. And then when I had gone and looked, I had seen just multiple tweets 
um, you know, things just like so silly. And then at one point she made fun of the fact that my roots had grown in like I was born with blue hair, I don't know, pink hair at the time. So that situation, I did what I could. I blocked this individual, I made my things private. And at the end of the day, it came back to bite her in the butt because she wanted to work with one of my friends on um, a certain thing. He basically said to her, you know what, like it's 2016, when you cyber bully somebody, that is going to come around and bite you. And he basically refused to work with her because of her actions outside of the workplace. So there are people out there who, whether it be jealousy, whether it be, I don't even know. I think I have a hard time understanding exactly what it is and why they want to spend so much of their own precious time on other people. But at the end of the day, you need to know that you are so much better than them. My suggestion if you are being cyberbullied is to do everything that you can to either make your things private, block these people, and then if it still keeps on happening, you can obviously get the police involved. But just know that the best, the best revenge of all time, and it sounds a little silly, is to ignore it. Imagine, you know, you're doing something to get under someone's skin and to make them upset and hurt their feelings, and you can't. Anything that you do, it literally just, it just doesn't affect them. That is going to cause them so much grief and aggravation, and that's going to be worth more than you just fighting back and firing your own remarks back at them. And, and honestly, I truly mean it, it will literally eat away at them. I actually found this quote um, pretty recently. Um, it's actually by Lady Gaga, she actually tweeted it. People that are obsessed with hating you feel flattered. Their whole lives revolve around you. I think a way that I combated cyberbullying within my own life is I created an online community, which the majority of you are probably a part of, and it is hashtag GRLGNG, Girl gang. It is an online community of girls and boys who instead of talking about each other, talk to each other. It's a community that uplifts and supports each other and it focuses how in a world full of online negativity, we have a safe space to talk and um, get advice and share our problems. And I know that so many of you guys have become friends based off of just being a part of the girl gang and I think that that is so, so amazing. So that's kind of how I've combated it. I've just said, you know what, like, I'm gonna get hate here and there and it's whatever and people are gonna say what they wanna say but at the end of the day, I have this beautiful community of amazing supportive people and if you guys are going through something, if you guys are being cyber bullied, we're always here to listen and to support. I wanna thank TELUS for sponsoring this video. Like I said, it's a topic that I hold near and dear to my heart and I hope that from hearing my stories and how I've risen above them and how I'm still standing even though you know somebody wants to call me insecure on Twitter I still have my girl gang and I'm able to work a job that I absolutely love know that you guys are never alone we all go through something like this at some point in our lives and you have people here to talk to and to listen to. I encourage you guys to join the conversation using the hashtag riseabove and you can learn more about this campaign by going to telus.com slash riseabove where there are a ton of great resources to help you guys cope with cyberbullying. You are important, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You are so much more than what someone on the internet thinks of you. Don't let them skew your perception of yourself. You have a community of people here supporting you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a moving vlog, or I guess not today, I'm just doing a moving vlog in general. I am moving on Saturday. Today is, you know, a bit of packing, a bit of, you know, so I thought 